Hey everybody, Justin Cener here. How's it going? I'm going to show you exactly how Shopify stores should comply with the different regulations like GDPR, CCPA, all the different ones, cookie consent, EU data protection, all that good stuff. I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. And these are definitely regulations that you want to follow. You can't ignore these and they're not the sexiest topic. It's not something that's going to drive a million sales for you tomorrow, but it is definitely important. Definitely something that you can't ignore. GDPR, CCPA, LGPD, all the other various regulations, really all around tracking and data protection. These are things that could get, you know, kind of overly technical, but that's the whole idea of Shopify, right? You never should really deal with anything technical. So there are solutions that I'm going to show you in terms of how to follow this, but you need to be compliant in order to avoid fines and in order to operate with other uh, services that do tracking as well. For example, Google Analytics, which is super important, even Google AdWords, Facebook ads, types of uh, type of other things that deal with lots of different data tracking. You need to be compliant, especially if you want to build a long-term brand. And there's no built-in way to do this with Shopify. You need to find an app. It's pretty crazy that there is no built-in way to do this. So you need to have an app. It has to work with Shopify's tracking API as well. This is in order to uh, have full uh, compliance. And not only that, but make it very easy for you to comply with any type of actions or data removals that might get requested. And that's kind of the whole idea with the Compliance Center. We're going to have a very, very easy way to deal with all of that. And that's the app I'm going to show you. Very easy to set up. You're not going to need any technical skills at all. It's called GDPR Compliance Center. And it's what I use. It's what I highly recommend. You see the link directly below this video. It's an incredibly powerful tool. It's going to allow you in just a few clicks to be totally compliant and have that full kind of data removal center without any technical skill at all. And you can see it right inside of the Shopify App Store. You see the link directly below this video. Here it is, the GDPR Compliance Center. First thing to pay attention to, 277 reviews at this time, five out of five stars. It does exactly what I was talking about. It gives you that full compliance. It gives you that really great uh, user system here for you to con uh, control everything without any technical skill at all. Cookie consent bar for GDPR allows you to easily and quickly have your store up to compliance, allowing for all of those kind of consents for the data collection that is now so uh, mandatory. Data subject rights management, smart blocker and integrations, meaning that this app is going to be able to not only just collect the data, but be able to take action on it as well, being able to make sure that you're always in compliance. You see the different pricing levels over here, but uh, I want to show you some of the uh, reviews over here, just a massive five out of five star reviews, and they all mention the great support and functionality that you're going to get with this app. Review after review, page after page over here, these five star reviews, again, GDPR Compliance Center. So what I want to do now is install it in an app. So we're going to go over the shoulder in a demo store. All you need to do, press the Add App button. This is going to install GDPR Compliance Center into our store. And uh, we're just going to get redirected back into Shopify. We can click Install App. This is going to complete the setup. There's really no technical skills required at all to get this app installed. And once it is installed, we're going to be redirected into our GDPR Compliance Center dashboard. And this is our little uh, kind of home base. We're going to see kind of everything around here, especially inside of our consent tracking. These numbers will start to fill up. You'll see the map populate with all the different people who have um, uh, accepted or integrated, or I should say interacted with your site, with your compliance center over here. And a couple different things that we want to do to get set up. First thing I want to show you over here, the uh, cookie consent banner automatically set up over here. You'll see it slide down from the top, fade in. Website uses cookies to ensure you get the best experience and come over here and accept that. That's going to be the user experience. And that was the uh, cookie consent bar. Very, very, very easy. And again, this is your little dashboard. These numbers will start to, uh, to fill up. But we'll come over here into the settings. I'll show you a couple different things in here. For example, the banner. This is going to be, of course, what we just saw. We can customize some of the information. We can customize where it's going to be uh, linking to in terms of that privacy policy. And then really most importantly, we can change the entire style. We can change positioning, or we saw it at the top, but lots of other different options. We could have it floating. We could have a pop-up. I like the bar at top or bar at bottom. Kind of those are the most um, expected spots now for them, but you could put them really anywhere that you want. We have different themes in terms of how it's going to look and feel we have all the different color schemes as well. We have a black, red, and white site. So I'm gonna go ahead and set up this black, red, and white thing, or we could just pick our own colors here. If they didn't have one that matches your own thing, you could put in a different font family. You can change all the CES, add advanced CES if you want, 
And of course you can customize the content. You could add some branded imagery over here as well for the little icon, but uh, really, really easy and really powerful. This was just the, uh, that banner that comes right out of the, uh, the start. You'll also see in real time, the consent tracking dashboard update. This was me over there, as you saw, accepting that banner. So we're over here on the settings and I highly recommend upgrading so you get all of the enhanced functionality of GDPR Compliance Center. We can go back into banner if we wanna customize any of those settings. Again, we just set this up as we were onboarded again, going over style and changing into your color scheme and enabling all of the different content and behavior, imagery, all that great stuff. You could also change the behavior of the button. You could come over here and set it to preferences where you'll be able to offer different types of preferences, strict or loose for them. Pretty cool in terms of that, adding us some additional functionality while still maintaining the compliance. Another cool thing over here, you can translate as well. So we can go under translations and we can translate all of the different buttons and text into really any language that we want right over here. Enabling multiple languages will allow us to do just that as well. And we can go ahead and enable this and save this here. So you can go back and change at any time. Lots of other cool additional features in here are really gonna make GDPR compliance perform to the next level. But what I wanna show you next is DSR, data subject requests. And this is something that allows you to be in compliance and keep things automated over here. I'm gonna walk you through step-by-step step how to do this. So we're gonna to need to add some code into our theme. Very, very easy. I'll show you the instructions over here. If you have a new theme, you could just follow this top set of instructions, basically going into your theme editor and creating a template. If you have an older theme like me, you go into pages, switch into create a new page, go to HTML view, and again, just copy and paste this code. So all you're doing, copying and pasting the code either in this section or in this section, depending on your theme. And once you do that, you'll create a new page. I went ahead and did that, added it into my navigation as well. And I'll show you that right over here. Here's the DSR page. I'll just come in, uh, click back over here, DSR. It's gonna load this page automatically, showing your cookie policy consents. And this is specific to each individual user. And this is where the magic comes in right here, this revoke consent button. This allows for everything to be automated. And for, in this case, my cookie uh, consent policy, I could revoke all my consent, which I granted earlier, as you saw in this video. So very, very simple here. And we could have these different options as well. You see the different text sections over here. We could add some CSS if we want to customize it. We could support guest visitors as well. So really everything available right inside of this page. This is data subject requests. And again, on the individual basis, allows people to revoke consent for the cookies. So really, and you see the uh, dashboard updating here. Some people view the site one declined cookies, two accepted cookies. Again, keeping us in the proper compliance, that's what GDPR Compliance Center is all about. So that is GDPR Compliance Center. As you see, incredibly easy to use, also incredibly powerful. Saw all those five-star reviews. Also take a look at this. The official statement from Shopify in terms of uh, some uh, apps that were uh, taken off of the store and they gave some alternatives to them. If you take a look at the uh, GDPR, section right over here. The first alternative that they give is that GDPR Compliance Center. So even Shopify knows it is one of the best apps out there. And if you use the link directly below this video, you're gonna get a discount just for using my link, just for watching this video. But uh, really by far the best app, Shopify even tells you themselves that uh, GDPR Compliance Center, great for uh, getting in compliance, great for having all of the different features as you saw over on the uh, over the shoulder inside the app. So get that in your store, use the link below, get that discount, and I hope this helps you uh, really save a lot of time and get in compliance ASAP.